You see what happened? You see what happened when you think it's up? Huh? Look at your daddy. Look at look at your daddy. Look at your daddy. You see how I'm just smacking that bald head of his? Look at you. look at your daddy. Yeah, you see what happens when you mess with somebody else's child? You see what happens when you mess with, with somebody else's family. There's consequences. Now your family getting beat up. Now your family over here getting dropped. That's how you feeling in the moment. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Triple F Stacks, checking in once again. Yes, sir. Flex for the folks. Flex for the folks. And I'm back with another video, man. Make sure y'all like this video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're a returning viewer and you still haven't subscribed, man, hit that subscribe button, man. Yeah, I said I was gonna spare y'all last video, but I'm feeling like this video, I might get on your big, uh, Y'all got one more video, bro. One more. After that, you're through. Because you, man, let me tell you, that's easy work. Yeah, you, easy work. So, next time I see you, you better have been subbed up. Because if not, your feelings getting hurt next video, I promise you. But other than that, man, I appreciate y'all for tuning in to another video, man. Appreciate y'all for, you know, just you know rocking with me man i appreciate all the new viewers all the new supporters all the new haters whatever you here for i just appreciate that you here to watch and here to tap in man that's all i can say i'm just thankful i'm grateful i'm humbled i appreciate y'all from the bottom of my heart without y'all none of this is possible so i really appreciate y'all for just tapping in for rocking with me and other than that man hope y'all having a wonderful blessed day and yes sir let's go ahead and get into this video man so today i will be discussing the father that jumped a seven-year-old girl's father after school to teach her a lesson about bullying all right now if you haven't seen this video that's been going viral um explaining all of this we're gonna watch it right now so you know what i'm saying so if you haven't seen it you can get understanding of it and if you've seen it oh well you about to see it again so let's go ahead and watch this video and then we're going to talk about it to the seven year old girl who had to watch me and my brothers jump her daddy after school i'm sorry i know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you but we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen we sent letters home we even had a meeting with you and your parents and you wouldn't listen so now you know your actions have consequences and since you too young to receive those consequences you had to watch your daddy take those consequences get some therapy you'll be all right a lot of y'all keep asking why i didn't fight this man one-on-one and why I got my brothers to jump him in front of his seven-year-old daughter. And the answer is simple. Life is not fair. You get jumped by responsibilities every day. Bullying is not fair because you picking on somebody that's essentially a weaker vessel and that's smaller than you. So I wanted to make sure she saw what it looked like when a fight is not fair and you don't have no choice but to let somebody jump you. So she could get the concept of what she was doing. Sometimes kids learn from what they see and not what they hear. So I wanted it to be a visual experience, okay? I'm out here doing the Lord's work, okay? God is pleased with me whether or not y'all are. All right, man. That man out there doing God's work. He said, God is pleased with me whether or not y'all are. God pleased with me. It don't matter if y'all are. God's pleased with me. Now look, man. We can go two sides with this. You got the folks that's going to say, that's messed up that he did that. His, he shouldn't have taken out what was going on with his daughter on the other daughter's dad. Because their child at the end of the day, you shouldn't do certain things with children present. Or children shouldn't have to witness something like that because it can be very traumatizing for them at a young age. Get some therapy. You'll be all right. I get all that, right? But I also understand the perspective that he was given of children are visual learners. They learn better from what they see than what they hear. So now you know your actions have consequences. And since you too young to receive those consequences, you had to watch your daddy take those consequences. Now I'm not saying that I'm just excusing the actions, you know, but it seemed like, okay, and what I'm gonna credit him for, is it seemed like he did everything he possibly could do before he had a result in the extreme measures that he took, right? Because he was trying to reason with her. He was trying to reason with the parents. He was trying to reason with the school. He was like, well, we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen. We sent letters home. We even had a meeting with you and your parents and you wouldn't listen. My daughter's being bullied. It's a problem for me. 
And I would like to resolve this matter peacefully. I feel like he did everything in his power to resolve this matter peacefully. So that's why I would give him credit for it. All right. Whether y'all feel like he was in the wrong or in the right, that's cool. You know what I'm saying? You can feel how you feel. Like everything is about feelings at the end of the day. But let's look at this logically, right? What if it was your kid getting bullied? What if it was your kid getting bullied? Are you going to have the same response? Are you going to feel the same way? Are you going to react the same way? I'm not saying violence is ever the answer. But you just know how the world is. Sometimes you have to. Sometimes you got to pop out and show niggas. Certified boogie man. I'm the one that up to score with them. Show somebody better than you can tell them. To the seven year old girl who had to watch me and my brothers jump her daddy out to school, I'm sorry. I know that was probably a traumatizing experience for you. But we kept asking you to stop bullying my daughter and you wouldn't listen. So now you know your actions have consequences. And since you're too young to receive those consequences, you had to watch your daddy take those consequences. Get some therapy. You'll be alright. So they can really understand there's consequences to your actions. And sometimes, you know the saying, you can't talk to some people. They just got to learn on their own. Well, she clearly didn't want anybody telling her anything. She wasn't being responsive to the constant talks, to the constant discussions that he was trying to have about him, her bullying his daughter and how it made him feel and how he didn't appreciate it. He was constantly trying to put his best foot forward to help the child understand that this is not right, that you shouldn't be bullying somebody else because you feel like you can get away with it, right? So he said, all right, cool. I didn't went this way, this way. I didn't talk to the, to the teachers. I didn't talk to the school. I didn't talk to the parents. What else am I going to do? My baby girl keep coming home with bruises on her. My baby girl keeps getting bullied. She keeps coming home crying to me, talking about daddy. She's still bullying me. What else am I going to do? So... He said, you know what? Let me get my let me get my brothers. Let me get my brothers. We we finna jump. We finna jump. That's what he said. He said, let me go get my brothers real quick. We finna jump this clown. That's what he said. That's what he said. Whatever y'all feel is is totally understandable. I'm not saying this man was in the right at all. I'm not saying he was in the right at all. I'm not saying that everything that he did was the right way to go about things because at the end of the day that's just what it is we're always going to feel like there's a better way to resolve something than through violence but sometimes sometimes you gotta you just gotta do what you gotta do to show people that you ain't and this is what he felt like he needed to do sometimes talking reasoning you can't reason with everybody dog you can't reason with everybody i don't support violence i'm not sitting here telling y'all hey man if y'all keep having problems with somebody go beat them up what I am going to say is do what you feel you need to do, but also understand the repercussions of what you're doing. I think that that's the biggest message that we can all get from this, right? We got to understand that there's repercussions to everything that we do, whether we like it or not. You see what I'm saying? There's a cause and effect. There's a cause and there's an effect. That's just the way of the world, all right? You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. The daddy got the prize, right? Because think about it. He might have some nieces and nephews because he clearly got some brothers. He could have got his nieces to, to gang up with his daughter and beat the girl up. Then y'all would have been like, well, why would a dad, a grown man, get his daughter and his nieces to jump this little girl? That's what y'all would have did, right? And I understand that. But since the daughter is not old enough to be disciplined in the way that he felt was deserving to really get the point across that her actions have consequences. You had to watch your daddy take those consequences. Get some therapy. You'll be all right. He said, your daddy finna pay because your daddy grown and he old enough to know what's right and wrong. And he knows that my, I, my daughter been having a problem with his daughter and he still can't discipline you in the manner that you need to be disciplined so that you learn that this is not okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my brothers. I'm going to beat the brakes off of your daddy in front of you so that you remember it. And you know what I'm saying? You don't even know what he was doing. He could have been looking at her straight and he could have been looking at her like, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure when, when, when they were jumping his daddy, he was getting some side eyes in like, you see, you see, you see. You see what happens? You see what happens when you think you tough? Huh? You see what happens? You see what happens when you think you tough? Huh? Look at your daddy. 
Look at look at your daddy. Look at your daddy. You see how I'm just smacking that bald head of his? Look at you. Look at your daddy. Yeah, you see what happens when you mess with somebody else's child. You see what happens when you mess with, with somebody else's family. There's consequences. Now your family getting beat up. Now your family over here getting dropped. That's how you feeling in the moment. He said he doing God's work. Then then they had asked and they said, uh, they said he had uh, addressed the question they had asked. He was he was like, uh, a lot of y'all keep asking why I didn't fight this man one on one, and why I got my brothers to jump him in front of his seven year old daughter. And the answer is simple: life is not fair. You get jumped by responsibilities every day. Bullying is not fair because you're picking on somebody that's essentially a weaker vessel and that's smaller than you. So I wanted to make sure she saw what it looked like when a fight is not fair and you don't have no choice but to let somebody jump you so she could get the concept of what she was doing. Sometimes kids learn from what they see and not what they hear. So I wanted it to be a visual experience, okay? I'm out here doing the Lord's work, okay? God is pleased with me whether or not y'all are. The way that this nigga was breaking it down, bro, it's like he was able to accurately describe why this ass whooping that they gave the daddy was the most peaceful way to resolve this matter after it had escalated to the point of no return. Like the girl was clearly not going to listen. She clearly did not want to hear what the dad had to say and that what he kept begging her not to do. She clearly did not care. She clearly was not getting it. The words weren't getting through to her. She just thought that she could still do what she wanted to do with no action because she a kid or she felt like she was going to get away with it. And it just so happened that her daddy had to pay for that. And I guarantee you, after that daddy got jumped, I guarantee you one or two things happened. Either he pulled his daughter out there at school and they moved to a different school district or his daughter never acted up at that school again. Not, not with his daughter. I guarantee you, I guarantee you, the dad made sure that day that the girl understood exactly what she needed to understand. Oh, you know what? There's also the third option. He just called the cops and was just like, I got assaulted. I got assaulted. They, they literally just jumped me. I got assaulted. <laughs> like, I'm not I'm not laughing because it's right or anything. I'm just saying, bro, like, Damn, like he tried to do everything in his power to reason with this little girl, bro. And she still wanted to get disrespectful. She still wanted to do what she wanted to do. I get it. Kids will be kids, but damn, you bullying my kid. You just expect me to take it. I can't take my anger out on you. So your daddy going to get it. Your daddy's going to get it. And I just think that, you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, he had to do what he had to do that he felt he needed to do in order to protect his child. And at the end of the day, a parent's gonna always protect their child how they feel is necessary. And that's what he was doing. So I can't knock the man who wanna protect his child. I don't have no kids, but I got a little nephew. So it's just like, I wouldn't want nobody beating up on my little nephew and make me feel away too. So it's like, yeah, if I can't feed you the hands, dog, your older brother or, or your daddy or somebody gotta catch me. Somebody gotta feel me, bro. Somebody gotta feel this anger. Somebody gotta feel my frustrations. So I understand, like, nobody wants a kid in their family that's either their little brother, their son, their daughter, whatever. Nobody wants their kid getting bullied at school or to have another kid, like, beating them up or anything like that. Nobody wants that. So at the end of the day, bro, if your parent or your older brother or whoever got to catch it in order for you to understand that you are not going to mess with minds no more, and that's just something that some people are willing to do. They they ready to crash. They ready to crash behind them kids, man. And at the end of the day, man, at least they use hands, bro. That's how I say it. I think that's the positive. At least, you know, it was just a friendly fade. <laughs> a friendly fade, man. At least you can say that it's a friendly fade, man. So that's my take on it, man. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. You know what I'm saying? That's all I really got to say about this video, man. Do y'all think Buddy was in the wrong? Or do you think that the dad handled it in the best manner he possibly can? To me, it seemed like he handled it the best way he could. And it just turned out to be that way that he had to do all this. Because she just wouldn't be responsible. She wasn't listening. So other than that, man. Y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think. If you made it this far in the video and you still haven't subscribed, man. Hit that subscribe button, man. Before me and my brothers jump you. <laughs> nah, for real though We will, we will do it I promise you we'll do it <laughs> Nah, but 
yeah, man. I appreciate y'all for tuning in to another video, man. You know what I'm saying? Other than that, man, appreciate y'all for just tuning in, for tapping into another video. Make sure you share this video. And yeah, man, until next time, your boy Triple F Stacks is out. Peace.